It's saying preparing. Got it. And it's read. It's saying streaming live on YouTube. All right. It's just not in that live. <laughs> I don't think. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go drop the link into. I'll go drop the link into that one. Okay, there we go. It was like, it was, there we go. All right, we're yeah. live. Hi, yeah. everybody. <laughs> I was getting feedback. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to, uh, we had a little tech issue, so I was trying to drop the link into the other scheduled live over there. So we weren't looking at the screen. So sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, YouTube does not like me. <laughs> there were things that we had not seen before. And that was definitely not in the YouTube videos of YouTube University that was learning how to do all this. So yeah, that's not it, super helpful. And I learned that the hard way when I started all this. <laughs> uh -huh. So yeah, we'll figure that out later, but we're live. So that's good. <laughs> yeah. So welcome everybody. Hi. Hi. We're so <laughs> glad you're here. Yep. Ooh, who is ready? I'm going to pull up so I can uh, look at um, the comments. I don't want to miss that. Yep. Um, and then we're going to get we're going to get to going. But before we do, Stephanie, if there's anything that you want to like announce, talk about what you're doing this week, all that kind of stuff. Please feel free to do that. Oh, okay, I'm just reminding people to go to the new lake because we've got a whole bunch of people over there still. <laughs> oh, awesome, okay. Thank you for that though. Yeah, we'll get it, <laughs> we'll get it figured out. So I don't wanna take over Shannon's channel, but welcome to Shannon's channel, Slate Art. <laughs> <laughs> hey. And that's Shannon and I'm Stephanie of Quilting with Stephanie Stitches. and. We're doing this fun two color quilt challenge, which we're really excited about. We're happy that it's interactive because you guys get to pick the blocks and then we get to all sew it together, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, that's the main thing going on. As you can see, both Shannon and I have the legit kits block of the month, month one on the wall behind us. <laughs> <laughs> and Shannon is leading that on her channels on Sundays when the block comes in. So that was so much fun. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my good friend Shannon because she's amazing and she's a great teacher. And I did this because of her. <laughs> I asked a million questions and she was super patient. So she's a great teacher. So make sure you're subscribed to her channel and don't forget to give her a thumbs up tonight. <laughs> Yay! Thank you very yeah. much. And then Shannon's going to be joining me on my Saturdays with Steph this week. So I'm super excited about that. And we're going to work yeah. on my project box project or whatever you want to work on. Which you might also <laughs> see here that yeah, I need to, I need to get to work on it. So I'm looking forward Me to that. Me too. I have had so much stuff to do. I haven't really sewn any of it since the last time we started, when we started it. So I'm excited about that. So thank you for joining me for that. I'm looking forward to it. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, any housekeeping things for me? No. Look, look, Stephanie, you're such a pro. You like took care of all my, my housekeeping stuff. <laughs> oh, um, I don't want to take over your channel. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's great. It's, yeah. I, 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 learning from the best watching you guys do this stuff. So it's awesome that you, you know, kind of like the script to, to, to go with. And I appreciate that very much. Um, so if everybody, Oh, hi, Beverly. Oh, thanks for that. And Oh, so she was just talking about the interview with Steven. That was such a good time that <laughs> around the world. Of her, she did amazing. <laughs> it was such a good time. And Steven is, well, everybody who knows Steven, you know, he's a riot. He just 
what made me feel so comfortable. I was, I was very nervous. I was very, very nervous. And his interviewing style is so comfortable and it just puts you at ease. And I had the greatest time. I really did. So thank and you. I have to say that I hope this doesn't sound condescending because I don't mean it that way, but I was like a proud mama. I was like, go Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I appreciate that. I, and, and I mean, in, in full transparency, Stephanie asked me, Hey, is it okay if I, if I give your name to Steven to, to interview? And I was like, Oh, if you think I'm ready, <laughs> maybe yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. So it, it went, it was really, it was really nice. And I really appreciate it anybody, everybody, first of all, everybody, um, for coming and watching, but for the new folks that, that have found me because of that interview, I'm very excited to have you here and be a part of all of this fun stuff that we're doing. And, um, and, and this two color quilt challenge that we're working on. Um, Hey everybody. Sorry. I'm going to say hi to, (laughs) to folks, to Nancy and Marla and Shelly and Tamala and Julie, Woo. a whole bunch of folks. Oh, <laughs> Ingrid's <people>. laughing. Proud <laughs> moment. <laughs> it does. It really does. Like when you hear other people say that the chat goes by super fast, they are not kidding. It goes yeah. by so fast, but it makes me happy that it that I that it sounds weird that I can't keep up. But that means that they're that you guys are talking to each other and that that yeah. you guys are having fun too. So that makes me happy. Yeah, that's really fun for us creators to see that we brought people together that, you know, have things in common enough to talk to each other about. So that's really cool. Yeah, um, I do have um, Nightbot is turned on. So I don't have a whole lot of commands. If there are commands that you guys would like to see that I add to it, definitely let me know. But Stephanie's um, YouTube channel is one of the things. So exclamation oh, mark Stephanie. Um, Sean's is also one exclamation mark Sean so it's exclamation mark and then no spaces in between Um, and then if you um, just want to see any of the commands that I have available if you do exclamation mark commands you know all together running together um, it'll give you a link to show you um, what's out there Um, but let's go ahead and kick this off I really would love to see Stephanie if you would show us the two colors that you're putting together the and like what fabrics like what fabric lines they are and all that kind of stuff well mine's um it's fig tree but it's their basic so I just picked two a blue and a cream and the cream actually had little tiny blue flowers I don't know if you could see it oh yeah yeah can see it and then the blue's like the reverse it's like the blue with the cream Oh, that's very cute. I like that. So those are my two colors. That's awesome. Let's see yours. So So I did a a basic, like a Bella. It's just the Bella like cream. Uh, It's kind of washed out. Sorry about that. But just, it's a, not, not a crisp white. It's a creamy off white, I guess. And then I did this green teak and this oh, green shannon that's beautiful that's going to be fun that it's oh, a the green, sorry first green no <laughs> a foresty green which is my favorite green actually oh. if even if it was a little bit darker it would be that would be closer to like my my favorite is favorite green but that's that's really good that's a good mm, green that and, is a good green i love that oh yeah marla like porcelain yeah i like that that's a good yeah. that's a good way to describe it porcelain um so those are our colors um we definitely stephanie and i talked about this before coming on and and she and i worked up um some of the block pieces like bits and pieces beforehand so that if there were any questions um we we would be able to answer them and and not be you know face down in our building our own blocks (laughs) um so um hey Shelly um if we let's I'll say let's say we're going to start with the jewel box I always think that's a good idea because that's the one that's really simple and I haven't put that together yet but I think that one's going to go together here in about five minutes 
Yeah. It's a, the other one, it's going to take us probably the entire rest of the time to finish it. Yep, so, I think so, yeah. <laughs> yep. So, I think that's a good plan. Toolbox is, let me pull up the uh, pattern so I can make sure I'm saying the right bits and sure. pieces. While you're doing that, I'm going to read off some of the color combinations people are talking about. Oh, yes. Um, let's see. It looks like Crystal is picking aqua and coral. Oh, that's, that's going to be gorgeous. beautiful. Gail said she is going to be going out of her wheelhouse using solid red and cream. Ooh. Very nice. Um, Priscilla said she picked in Priscilla Lancaster. Hi, Priscilla. Hey, it's an Priscilla. orange boutique and yellow. Oh, fun. And then Shelly Stewart picked a yellow and white. Oh, everything's going to be pretty. Oh, <laughs> Seely picked chalk and terracotta. Oh. Scarlet picked blue and white. Person close to your, to your heart there with the blue and the white. Yeah. And MJ <laughs> is using batiks and she picked like a green, blue, gray, like mixed batik and a white beige gray mixed batik. Oh, cool. She said, if you type the colors as one word, it's one color, right? Because <laughs> she smooshed it all together. I I'm that. here for it. <laughs> and Del Marie picked a black and white. Awesome. Oh, I like that. That's cool. I like the, the black and white, the, the stark contrast. I yeah. like that. And, and, and the red and white. Several people said that green is their favorite color too, including Marla. <laughs> Excellent. That's yes. so cool. Growing up, I didn't, you know, when they would ask, you know, what's your favorite color? I didn't know anybody who, yeah. who also liked green. So, and Judy said she's doing a white on white and a purple batik. Um, I did get a couple pictures, which we'll show you guys next time from a few people who had to do them ahead of time because they couldn't make it tonight. And we have another one doing purple and white. And then we have one doing browns and tans. So that's really nice too. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of looks like more almost civil war-ish. I was going to say that that kind of gives me that vibe. That's it. Yeah. I mean, they're batiks, but they give that color vibe. Mm -hmm. So doing this for my oldest daughter, it's a Lori Holt stitch mustard yellow in tone on tone cream. Okay. Nice. So like it sounds like we got some stitched. really great color combinations. Yeah. And we're, I want everybody and we'll put it in the um, description down below when, when, once all this stuff happens on YouTube. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'll remind everybody to email one or the other of us. We're, we're going to put them all together for our first Tuesday where we pick the next um, six blocks that we'll vote on. We'll get yeah. to kind of have a, I was saying a fashion show, like <laughs> have yourself walk the cat, kept the cat a walk. block fashion show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To see the colors and how everybody put them together. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, so I'm excited about that part. That'll be really cool. Really cool. And somebody asked a really good question. And Janet and I talked about this beforehand too. Somebody asked what the fabric requirements are. Unfortunately, we can't really give you fabric requirements because it's going not to, it's going to be based on what blocks you pick. Yeah. Because each block is going to have different fabric needs. So we can't give you overall fabric requirements. What we can suggest is that you probably should have us quilters, we like to have extra fabric anyway, right? But <laughs> I'm going to have at least four yards of each color. And I would say for 12 blocks, you might want three and a half to four yards of each color. Um, what do you think, Shannon, about that? Is that what you're estimating too? Yeah, I think so. And I, I did kind of a, like a review of other um, quilts that, with blocks that are, are, you know, the 12 and a half yeah. unfinished sizes. Um, um, and that seems to be about what they were using um, yeah again i know it's uncomfortable and and i i tell you i, I feel that way too of, of not knowing I, yeah. I like to make sure that i'm gonna have enough um and so i would say that that three to four is probably a a, a healthy amount that, that will will be doing just fine um but yeah i i, I know it's kind of weird not to know but yeah, yeah. The fun is, is in us. But sometimes you just gotta be okay and just get the yardage and trust us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now the fun is really depending on at the end how you set it and all those things. That'll change also your yardage needs. But very true. Um, 
Yeah. So Ingrid said she picked a light orange and a dark, bright, darker orange. Nice. Nice. I've, I think I've seen those. I'm pretty sure I've seen those. So uh, I'm excited about that. I think we got those. Did, that was when we were in Millersburg, right? Oh, it might have been at Miller's Dry Goods that, that she picked those up. Oh, I love that shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I don't have two cameras today. I don't know if you do. I do not because I was okay. a little bit shy of if I was going to make things blow up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So next month we'll definitely have, I'll have two cameras. Hopefully Shannon will be able to do two cameras as well. Yeah. So we're just going to have to hold things up and show you for this month. It's a learning process for both of us doing it on each other's channels. So bear with us a little bit, but if you want to go ahead and explain the first block, let's get that one done. Yeah. So um, the first one we're going to do is called the jewel box. Um, if you have not uh, been able to, to see the, the patterns, they're free patterns every month. Um, there are like traditional blocks that you can, you can get, um, you know, they're, they're kind of everywhere. They might be named something different. Like I'd never seen anything called jewel box before, but um, so you might have seen it called something else, but they're, they're, they're free trade kind of <laughs> patterns that are out there. But Stephanie is awesome as all heck and has written up the patterns for each of these blocks and they're on her um, blog, which um, uh, Ingrid, I don't know if you're at a spot or uh, I think I saw Patty on here too. If anybody wants to throw that in the chat, that would be awesome. Um, so the, you, the- Oh, it was linked in the other video. I was like, oh, you yeah. put it in the description box, but it was in the other video. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, YouTube. Um, so we're gonna start with, <laughs> jewel box, which is the easier um, to cut and uh, to, to piece together. These are um, pretty good size pieces, um, whichever, I'm gonna say background, um, whichever background color you chose, you want one seven inch square and four three and a half inch squares. And your main color, I guess, like for me is the green, I definitely consider the green my main color. Um, mm -hmm. also a seven inch square and four, three and a half inch squares. Um, and then we're going to be doing, um, some, and I did, did to do this, did do this ahead, some simple four patches. Okay. Is this showing? I think so. Yep. Um, sure is. four patches and you'll, you'll make, um, two, four patches and then, um, half square triangles, which are our best friends. They are <laughs> the foundation for all things quilty. Um, so I went ahead and sewed them up, but I need, I'll cut them and, and iron them and um, build the block everybody together. So if everyone feels comfortable and wants to go ahead and get started on that, we'll start with the jewel box. Sounds good. Hey, Nellie. I love that green and your colors together. When you held it up, I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be very happy with it. I really like the, um, the modeled look of the batik. Yes. Um, I didn't want it to be, uh, like, uh, I think Stephen was talking about it on his, his thing this today about, um, he got a floral batik. I wanted it to be much more, um, subdued, but I like the, the kind of like watery movement it has yeah. for this one. So I'm excited it's about it. Really pretty. Oh, excellent, Charlotte. I'm glad you got the patterns printed out and that you were able to find them okay. Thank you, Ingrid, for putting the blog. I should put that in the in the commands too. That's a good one to remember. Thanks, Nancy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead oh. and finish up this other four patch. I've got my iron on, good to go. Hey, Kathleen. Oh, I feel your pain. I would be, I'd be frustrated too. Yeah. 
I'm happy that Especially you're Especially with the move, that's stressful anyway. You need some stress relief. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's my first four patch. Yay! I love the colors. Yeah, that, that's a really good blue. Like, it's like a yeah. crystal blue. Ocean blue or something. Yeah. <laughs> lake blue. I'll call it lake blue since I'm by Lake Erie. <laughs> there you go. When I was um, doing some of the pieces for the next block, the more, um, the smaller pieces, a little more complicated, we're gonna have to take some time. Um, mm -hmm. I was, I was definitely, I'm glad that this, this one looks like it's the most complicated one that we'll have out of the, the two color the options. Whole box. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm glad we're starting with this one because when everybody, when we all kick butt on this, this next one, uh, the sparkling star and we get it, we get it put to bed and it's done and, and, and we can congratulate ourselves and pat ourselves on the back. Yep. I'm going to be so glad. <laughs> I was going to say, if we can get people through that one, then we can get through any other block. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kanono Show said, Jewel Box took me a half hour. Sparkling Star took me six hours. Oh my goodness. Why did Nightbox just tell somebody that they, oh, I, I must've missed it. The Sherry Harris, oh, I don't, I need to learn all the names, but Nightbot just said, you're the missing link. Oh no. Stop spamming emotes. Okay, so I'll tell you guys now that, and I learned this only from Steven because he did it. Um, if you put more than like one emoji, one or two emojis, it like kicks, it doesn't kick people out, but it puts them on like a timeout or something. Okay. So that's not Shannon's doing. <laughs> no, that's Nightbot. So don't put more than like two emojis in your little comment <laughs> or you might get booted for a bit. Okay. Good. Good to yeah. know. I will, I'll be sure to, to kind of make that announcement every once in a while. Um, we are making one block a piece so we're making one jewel box and we're making one sparkling star um and we're going to end up with 12 12 inch blocks 12 12 and a half how when you when you explain that stephanie yeah the it's 12 and right a half on. unfinished meaning it's not sewn into the quilt yet um once it's in the quilt it's 12 inches finished so uh, when we're saying 12 12 and a half inch blocks folks yeah Folks will know like that. That's what we mean. Like that's, that's before unfinished, we finish yeah. it up. Okay. Yeah. I just don't want to see. I'm still confused by that every once in a while. So <laughs> <laughs> want to make okay. sure I'm not confusing anybody else. Ooh. Sherry said that's a first for me getting kicked out for the emojis. Oh, yeah, so it's not sorry, Shannon though. I promise. <laughs> I, I did not know that that was a thing. So I apologize for that. Um, I like seeing emojis. <laughs> Yeah, the only reason I knew is that because, you know, uh, Stephen's friend, I think it was, I can't remember if it was Dana or Jan, one of them got kicked out for that over there, and he was like, what in the world is that? And we figured it out that it was Nightbot, that if you put too many emojis, it doesn't like it. <laughs> I think there's a setting that you can go into Nightbot and change to stop that, but. <laughs> okay, I'll yeah. take a look at that. I, shoot, of all the things that people could be saying and doing. Um, um, emojis are the least I know right <laughs> <of> my worries <laughs> hey Nelly hi Nelly good to see you oh Mary Beth you, got, oh, you done see, got somebody else got emojied <laughs> yeah, come on bro <laughs> oh goodness gracious Goofy uh, so we will we'll our last two blocks will sew up on um, the third Tuesday of October. Um, but then we'll get together again in November because we're going to have the big reveal of how Stephanie and I have decided to lay out the blocks and put it all together. Um, and we'll want to see how you guys are doing that too. Yeah. Um, so 
we will have a, a final wrap up in November, right before the holidays. Yes, but we're not going to give you guys setting instructions. We're going to let you guys do whatever you want with them. It's kind of like back in the day where they had those books where you got to choose your own ending. <laughs> yes. You're going to choose your own, your own adventure. Setting. Yes. Which is the fun. And, and if you're nervous, this is exactly the, the sew along you want to be a part of because um, we will help you not be nervous. But if you're nervous, it means it's something that you need to do so you can stretch yourself. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. Oh, I like this block. Yeah, Marla, it'll be a great Christmas gift. Oh, yeah, that's true. We're going to end right around that time. Yeah. I will say this, this part kind of makes me miss being at a, a retreat where I can just yeah. turn around and see what everybody's doing, yep. where they're at. Uh, Bettina said she picked white, gray, and red. Awesome. I love gray. That's another one of my favorite colors Yes. or sh shades or tones. Is, is gray considered a color? I, I consider it a color. I think so. I think it's a color. Of course, I love gray, so yeah. Uh, Sherlock Sos is here. My name's Lori. Hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. All right. We're excited that you guys are all here and phone along with us. It's going to be a good six months. Yes. And if you're just joining and you have no clue what we're talking about, um, <laughs> if you scroll up a little bit, there's Stephanie's blog that these patterns are at. They're the two color quilt jewel box and the two color quilt sparkling star. And Stephanie and I are doing a, a two color quilt and it's kind of what two colors means to you. So I'm, I have two colors and I'm using the same two fabrics for my two colors, but my one fabric, the green batik, definitely has some, you know, variation within that green because of how they do the dyeing of batiks. Um, like Stephanie is using um, a white that reads really white from far away, but when she got it close, she could see there were little blue flowers on it that match the blue of her blue that she's using that has the little white flowers in it but when from far away it reads just blue so yeah. you could use um like if you were doing you know different shades of purple and but you had all the shades of purple from I think magenta is kind of purpley and kind of reddish all the way down to the lightest little lilac purple and and I think that would be gorgeous that, like all the shades of oh, the yeah. color throughout the, the quilt you could do um each block like if you wanted to do a deep dark purple uh, uh for one block and then kind of do an ombre down the quilt of the different shades of the purples that would be cool too that would so be... when we say it's choose your own adventure we really mean it's choose your own adventure <laughs> yeah. We want you to, to feel free. Uh, Ooh, can Tina. you imagine gray and purple together? Ooh. Yeah, that would be that would be classy. And Bettina, yeah, if you so be, so the, the patterns that we're using each month at the beginning of the month, the first Tuesday, we're picking um, six blocks to be voted on. Um, and then oh gorgeous. And um when the, the two, so the, and there'll be two winners. If you have um, AccuQuilt uh, dies and, and, and the machine, 
that will get you those blocks cut, absolutely use the Acaquil. Uh, that's a fantastic use for the machine. Um, I just can't, neither one of us can promise that the, the blocks that end up winning in the votes are going to be, you know, using pieces that, that and, and sizes of fabric for dyes that you have. But if, it, if it's pretty close and you just trim it down, totally, totally go for it. Pat Sloan did a trunk show of Susan Ackes quilts. All three colors, but very scrappy. Oh, fun. Crunchy and uh, Seely said, I just bought a book at a thrift store called Sensational Settings, Over 80 Ways to Arrange Your Quilt Blocks. Perfect timing. <laughs> um, nice. That's cool. That is perfect timing. Yeah. Um, so I've been running my mouth and haven't finished, but Stephanie, if you want to, <laughs> maybe you called me down on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe talk about the, the next star that we're doing. Um, sure. I'm, I'm going to bet that not that <laughs> there might be one or two as speedy as you, but I'm going to bet, but not everybody is done. Um, no, go ahead and finish yours. And um, you were talking a lot. It's hard to talk and read the chat and sew at the same time. So yeah, I was sewing while you're talking. So now it's my turn. <laughs> I guess <laughs> let you sew. But um, as Jana was saying, if you just found us tonight, you can go to my blog, pick up the patterns. And there's also I also did like a little post about an explanation of kind of what we're doing, um, how we're bouncing back and forth between my channel and Shannon's channel. This month was Shannon's channel and her reasons were different than mine. <laughs> she said it's because she's odd. I don't think she's odd. I think she's amazing. But she said it's because it's an odd month and she's odd. So we're on her channel. So next month is an even month. And I guess that means I'm just boring and normal. I don't know. Oh, no, that did not come out the way. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. So uh, next month will be on my channel. So the very first Tuesday of each month, which, oh, I just thought about that. What is the next Tuesday? That would be, okay, the day before I go to Canada. I was like, oh, I might be in Canada. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. No, it's the day before I go to Canada. So the 6th of June will be live on my channel. And that's the day where you guys get to pick from six different blocks. Or we're going to show you the blocks, actually. And then Shannon will put a poll on her YouTube channel where you can vote on which blocks you want. Because you guys get to pick the blocks. So you're kind of having choices along the way here. And you're determining what we do later in the month. Um, so that month or that day, you get to see the blocks and you go over to Shannon's channel after we're done, pick the blocks that you want or vote for the blocks that you want. In the next week, I write the pattern and I put it up on my blog where you can grab it every month. And then the third Tuesday of every month is when we'll come together and we'll sew it. And that'll always be at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we won't move the time um, unless something crazy happens and one of us can't do uh, attend, but it'll always be the same, the first and third Tuesday of every month at 6 p.m. Eastern time, so. Yep. Thank that you, Ingrid. So the next block that you guys picked is called the Sparkling Star, and it is definitely not a hard block, but it's a complex block. There's lots of little pieces, it's still using the basic building blocks that quilters use, half square triangles, um, that kind of thing. It's just, there's a lot of pieces. <laughs> Good thing we're only making one of each, right? Goodness, yes. Yeah. But like Shannon was saying, we sort of looked through all the blocks in the card builder sets that we're using for this. And that is, out of all of them, the most difficult one, just because of all the pieces. So if you can get through the sparkling star, you can get through any of the ones going forward. So get that one done and then you can go and breathe a sigh of relief and say, okay, I can do this now. <laughs> yes. Oh, Bettina. I like the, the um, precision of the AccuQuilt too, because I, I get 
pretty loosey goosey when I'm cutting everything by myself. <laughs> pretty loosey goosey. Yeah, Crystal, big block, itty bitty pieces. Uh, that's very, sure. uh, yeah, that's that's very um, genie in uh, I was Aladdin. Say, itty bitty David Spade. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good night, Shelly. Thanks for coming by. Hey, Shelly. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Can you, is my son too loud? Can you hear him? No. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> nope. So I'm writing out the patterns because um, they're not great on those cards. I just wanted to tell you guys that too. The sparkling star was actually written a different way. And the way it was written was definitely not beginner friendly. Um, because I just did a quilt. Some of you may have seen it, the Express Yourself Petite Quilt that had the pieces done the same way that the block called for. And they were really difficult to get lined up. They were so fussy that even me, and I'm not perfect, but I, a more advanced quilter, I was frustrated with them. So I was like, okay, I'm rewriting this. Because <laughs> if we did it that way, you guys would have wanted to throw that block out the window. <laughs> so that's the other reason that I'm kind of writing the blocks, even though they're already written on those cards. Just because if I see something that I think can make it easier for any beginners out there, I'll do that. Yeah, that's that's where your your experience is invaluable to all of this. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> Somebody else got the the bot with the emojis. <laughs> I will I will go to Nightbot this evening and 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 make it calm itself. Yeah, there's some the tyrant there Nightbot you, you can change to make it not do that because I know Stephen changed his. So yeah, uh, Crystal said it's perfectly okay if we hear him. All oh, thanks to Crystal. Some people have told me that it bothers them, so I appreciate you, ladies, saying it doesn't bother you. He's oh, autistic gosh. and he makes noises sometimes that you know he makes a lot of uh vocalization noises that just don't they're not they don't make sense not words so he's kind of doing that right now so if you hear him that's what it is <laughs> all good you are in your home <laughs> and we're all just hanging out and sewing together yeah and he's um actually really in a good mood right now that's why he's making those noises he's not screaming <laughs> So he's just having fun up there. I can hear him, which is really nice for me to hear. Yeah. Very sweet. <laughs> so on Mother's Day, we took the kids to a park over here locally by the lake. And they actually had equipment for kids like him. And they had swings that like enclosed him because he's really scared of like open spaces. And even like the, the climbing ropes to go up to like the slide, yeah. it was all enclosed by like a cage. So he didn't feel like he was going to fall. Oh, that's nice. It was so nice. Yeah. That's, that, that must make you super because uh, from I saw that you had posted it and that it seemed like it was pretty close to home it wasn't something you had to go no it was about a 10 minute drive from home which isn't bad um and we've got a park here in our development our housing development but it doesn't have anything like that for him and he typically just stands there while the other kids play because he's scared yeah and for me as a mom to just see him smiling and playing he was yeah. It took him a few minutes, but um, we put him on the swing first and he was loving it. And then 
he probably was on the swing for like a half an hour. Oh, really? That's how much he loved it. Yeah. And then he was, he finally got one to get down and he started running around playing with the other kids going up and down the slides. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> it was uh, the best. Yeah. That's a really good feeling. Yeah. Because other than that, the only option is baby swings. And he's not a baby. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> he's five, but he's about the size of a seven and a half year old. So he can't really fit in those anymore. No. And I, um, I mean, he shouldn't have to. Yeah. You know. We have a, a playground that here that they have opened and it's it's very much the the goal and the mission of the family that opened it um mm -hmm. is for all inclusivity for kids of all ages and sizes and capabilities and um they're a pretty amazing family they um went through some tragedy and they, they created a foundation and the goal of their foundation was to create that park so that Aww. everybody could have fun playing in honor and memory of their daughters. Oh, so, that's amazing. Incredible. And I love watching you know, the, the, post, what the newest. The, so the newest section is a uh, like an homage to Alice in Wonderland. So Aww. there's like very fun thing. Um, the, That's the little, cool. um, like the merry-go-round thing is um, it's on the ground. So you can wheel a wheelchair onto it and go around. Yep. The, the, it's super cool. So That's I like, really... like hearing that, that that's becoming more and more common. Yeah. Oh, Tamala said that park is fantastic. The community worked hard to get that equipment to make it inclusive because she lives right there. She's, she's in the next town over from me. I'm in Lorraine and she's in Vermilion. I'm actually really close to the border of Vermilion and she lives there. So nice. Yeah, that's, it was great, Tamala. Much appreciated for him for sure. Hi, Karen. Good to see you. Karen Cox is here. Hey, Karen. Shannon's working on her jewel box. I am, I am. Block, and then we're going to move to the sparkling star when she's done with that one. That's where we're at right now. Oh, buggers. <laughs> I just unthreaded my needle. Oh gosh, I hate when I do that. <laughs> it's like, especially when you're on camera and you're doing that because you're like trying to sew and you're like, oh man. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I see you got your Miller's Dry Goods jacket on there or sweatshirt on. Yes, I do. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> very awesome store. Oh, that's one of my favorite shops down there. I love that shop. And I didn't get to it this time. I'm so sad. So much stuff there. Yeah. I think I, I, I got, I know I got something from the plaid sheet, but uh -huh. not too much. I think most of what I got, well, most of what I got was from the shop of Stephanie, but <laughs> 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 what I got from out in the wild was in the wild. Um, from Miller. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's try not to. Tamara said there's no feeling like seeing their faces light up at those parks. Yeah. It's great. He had so much fun. And we first got there, he was kind of whining a little bit. He didn't even want to get out of the car. Mm. And then he took off running and never stopped. So <laughs> it was fun.
Nellie said, my grandson is autistic too, so I'm used to it at me, at Stephanie. Yeah, I remember we had that conversation, Nellie. Not everybody's used to it though. So some people have told me they didn't want to hear his noises and that makes me sad because there's nothing he can help. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't really have time for that kind of negativity. No. Oh, Ingrid said, I'm wearing that sweatshirt too, Shannon. It's a little cooler in Massachusetts than in Maryland. Oh, I bet. <laughs> yeah, I bet it's, it's definitely cooler. Is your weather getting nice over there? For the, the past three, it's kind of cloudy this evening, but it's still really nice out. But uh, the last couple of days, Saturday rained when I was at um, my sister's reception. It rained right up until most of the people started showing up and then it stopped and it's just been gorgeous ever since oh nice that it stopped just in time yeah it was great how did that go how was the reception it was such a good time it was a very good time um, and she's my baby sister so it was fun to i made the cupcakes for the reception and it was um you know just fun to help take some of the stress off because they did it all by themselves yeah um, good to fun to help take some of the stress off of you know what was gonna take place that day and um it just ended up like a um just felt like a big old party so nice it was fun very cool how many people came uh it was it was small it was like 40 i mean 40 is a good a good number but it was it was close friends and family Okay. It was really good food, Jamaican food, jerk chicken, oxtail, brown chicken stew, not for any kind of vegetarian. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, unfortunately. <laughs> was, was, well, you had chicken, so I'd be fine because I'm a chickatarian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was so good, though. Yeah, it sounds like it, yum. My, my new brother-in-law um, caters, which is fun because I went to culinary school and I was a chef for a while. Um, yeah. So I get to talk, I get to talk food with him. Um, and so he had folks he knows cater the, the reception. So he knew it yeah. was gonna be good food. Nice. Uh, Marla said, I drove down to Miller's last Saturday, got there too late. They closed at three. So I went and had dinner at the Farmstead Inn. Nice. <laughs> that was, that was fun. I liked having dinner there. Yeah. And lunch. Is, just, <laughs> they just can give me all the rolls and I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah. The donuts. Oh my golly. I know. <laughs> so good. Oh, thanks, Lori. She says, nice to hear kids in the background. Oh, that's sweet. Any no happy noise is joyful music. That's so true. Yeah. Oh, are you getting smoke from the fires? Um, We were. It's a little bit hazy out there tonight. So I was wondering if that was still it or if it's just cloudy. Um, la the last, I wanna say it was like last Thursday and Friday, we definitely got some smoke and we don't get like, when I say smoke, it's not like other places where we're like, like smoke, right? It makes our sky hazy is what it does. The ones that come over from the smoke that comes over from Canada, from the wildfires. Um, but we don't actually like, have smoke like in our like around our house or anything it yeah. would be like way up in the atmosphere where it makes our skies hazy um yesterday it was sunny and today it's back to being hazy again but I can't tell if it's hazy or if it's dark because of clouds because it seemed like it was really humid out earlier and it seemed like it was the right sort of circumstances where we could have had a, a thunderstorm 
Mm -hmm. So I don't know how much of that was haze from the fires or if it was just like thunderstorm haze. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Well, uh, but Tina, I'm going to kind of answer um, both ways of the question I think you could be asking. <laughs> so tonight we're making one block. Uh, we're, we're, we're making two squares tonight, the jewel box and the sparkling stars. In each third Tuesday, we'll be making two blocks for a total of 12 at the end of the six month time. Um, but there'll be 12 different blocks. Unless you decide there's a block you don't want to make and you want to double up on blocks. Totally up to you. Oh. Sherlock said they're cloudy today from the fire. Crystal said she was in Maryland last week and thought she smelled the smoke. Huh. Really? I'm, I'm in Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so clueless. Oh, no. <laughs> That's funny. Now we can, if you go to Lake Erie, like when, if you guys saw my video of the lake, usually we can see Canada on the other side. I mean, our lake's huge, but we can usually on a clear day, see Canada. I haven't always yeah. seen Canada now for a few weeks. So I think that's probably part of the, the smoke. Yeah. All right, so for those who are sewing with us, who is close to done, done, like where, where are you guys? Where, how do you feel on the jewel box? So are you all good with jewel box? I think is what Shannon's asking. Yeah, a lot of words to say. You guys all done? <laughs> <laughs> Are you done with Jewel Box? How's everybody feeling about Jewel Box? I need to cut this one thread and then I can show mine off. Awesome. The weatherman said that's from the fire, said Lori. Oh, okay. Yeah. Delmarie said she's done with Jewel Box. Awesome. Tamara said she's okay. That jewel box done. Oh gosh, Shannon, I love your green. I'm that kind is of so pretty. Kind of happy with that. Yay. Where did you get that green? Um, Missouri Star. Okay, that's gorgeous. It's a batik. Batik. Yep. Um, where did I put the? I had the label here because I, I wanted to make sure I'd be able to talk about it, and now I don't know where I put the label. <laughs> I moved stuff around so I would be ready. <laughs> and now I don't know. Well, I'll find it. I'll find it. Yeah. But I'm going to pin this up. Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, Priscilla well, said she'll be right me. back. Math Geek said very pretty. Thank you. Thank you. It's gorgeous. Uh, Karen said I've done with both blocks since this picks to Stephanie. Yep, I've got them. I've got yours and I've got one other person's and we're going to share those next month. Yeah, excited about that. Thanks for sending those. You're welcome, Denise. Thanks for coming over and sewing with us. Yes, thank you for thanking Stephanie. <laughs> it does a lot of work and it's very, very much appreciated. Uh, it's not that big a deal. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be lost without you. <laughs> Ingrid said that looks amazing. I agree. Those colors are gorgeous. <laughs> it's going to be fun now. Now it's on to the wee little baby pieces. <laughs> right. Oh, you started them. I haven't even started mine yet. Well, I felt the pressure, Stephanie. I felt the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be the rock star for this one. No, no, no. I have no doubt you will catch up. <laughs> that is really cute. Uh, it's so I have the, the first row put together. Aww, look at that. It's, it's so adorable. the way they had it written, see how you've got the, the two pieces of the half square triangle where you have the, what well, kind of looks like a half square triangle where it's all the white on one side and the green on the other. Yeah. That's the way they wanted you to do it. 
but you had to perfectly line up all those pieces and then match up the half square triangle and hope that they didn't move. So I was like, that's no. <laughs> no. No, I'm on board with you with the no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -uh. That's what that's what I had to do for the express yourself quilt. And that was not fun. And then the measurements are like two and five eighths and two and seven eighths. And I'm like, no, we're good. <laughs> yeah. All right. So where should we start with this? Thanks, Millie. Um uh let's remind everybody what they're cutting. Uh what we're after they're cutting, what they're oh, we're starting with the I couldn't remember how I wrote the pattern. <laughs> <laughs> the half square triangles. Yes. Okay. Eight at a time. So if you've never done the eight at a time method, do you want to tell them how, or do you want me to? Oh, no, go, no, feel, feel free. Let me, uh, Denise, I did not use my AccuQuilt for this. Um, I could though. So I might in future, like go ahead and do that. If, if it works, if I have the dies, I certainly don't have all of the dies, um, but if it works out, I might do that just to show you guys um, how, it, how you can do it with the AccuQuilt. Since I've got it, it's a good tool to use. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you wanna explain eight at a time, half square triangles. Okay, yeah, sure. This is a little different than I know the way we normally do them like two at a time, but we figured with this many, because <laughs> yeah. we need what? What was it, 32? 36. 36, something crazy like that. Yeah. <laughs> many uh, so, tiny little blocks yeah so i figured doing eight at a time would be better and then we're doing you are going to have a couple extra because obviously there's no multiple of eight that comes out <laughs> to 36 but that's okay <laughs> because if a couple of them are wonky then you can pick from other ones in your pile <laughs> yep so what you're going to do is you're going to take your background square and you're going to take your color square and you're going to put them right sides together and then you're going to draw a line corner to corner on going both directions so in a normal half square triangle, we just do one direction. We're going to actually do both. And then you're going to sew a quarter inch on either side of both of those lines. So start with that. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that. And with sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> I'm notorious for the sound effects. Yeah. Well, it I makes it more fun. fun. It's so much better with sound effects, right? I enjoy amusing myself. Um, so I will say having done that, that piece, um, in some of the second row, I am not, I am normally uh, adverse to pinning anything. Um, I've pinned the bejeebies out of these blocks to get them to fit together the way I wanted them to. So okay. if you're pro, if you always pin, you're going to be good to go. Um, I started off trying to use clips because I, I do adore clips. Um, and I, they, they didn't hold it in the space. I wanted it to stay close enough to the needle for long enough. Gotcha. Um, yeah. and so I did, I've been, I've been pinning and once I finally gave in and said, okay, I'm, I'm going to pin these. I've been so much happier with how they've turned out. Cool. Okay, so for me to show you guys this, I'm going to probably have to stand up because I'm short. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, 
uh, my camera's sort of washing it out, but this is what it looks like sewn together. And you're gonna cut it apart in every direction. So you're gonna cut it apart on those lines that you drew before. But before you do that, you're gonna wanna find the center point, get your ruler. You, this is a five and a half inch block. So the center point's gonna be two and three quarters. So find the center and you'll know it's in the center too because you're gonna cross through the threads that you sewn. You're gonna cut it this way through the center. So um, vertically, you're gonna cut it horizontally through the center. And then once those are done, then cut it apart on your drawn lines. And that will give you your eight half square triangles. Yeah, and it's, it's nice to have, instead of trying to do 36 little two inch yeah. half square triangles, this, this is a really nice way to do it. Well, Quickly. when I started looking at it, I was gonna do the two at a time and I'm like, that's gonna take us forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was like, but I was also that night when I was writing it, having trouble with maths. <laughs> it was late, it was late. I kept sending it to Shannon and I'm like, does this look right? Something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was a late, late night for you. So at some point she was probably like, can you stop sending me stuff? <laughs> but her and Ingrid were kind enough to test it and make sure it worked. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. We had a good time. Yeah. We had a little uh, system set up. Nice. And so with using the, the five and a half inch squares to start you know, to, to put the eight at a time together, mm -hmm. when you trim, you lose so little. It's it's nice. There's yeah. a even even if you're my, the little singer that I'm working on down here has a, a generous quarter inch um, that I generally forget. And then I start sewing and then I'm like, oh, buggers, it's got a really really <laughs> wide quarter of an inch yeah. um even with that happening i did not have any problem getting um trimming to the two inches nice thank you priscilla somebody else came in too you said nice. done but started yesterday <laughs> i love you priscilla <laughs> okay so this is Sarah. what it looks like when it's cut apart hopefully they won't fall down when i tip it oh no but that's all eight pieces all cut apart, so. And then if you have the, like if you have block lock, cool to use. If you have the clearly slotted trimmer, which I have the large one, which I use on the seven inch blocks for the, for the jewel box, but mm -hmm. I left my, the smaller one for the, the whole block. I mean the whole inch, I left it upstairs. So um, I'm just using, <laughs> Uh, regular ruler. So you don't have to have specialty tools to do any of this no. at all. Oh, for anybody who's a Creative Grids fan, I don't know if you know, but they just came out with a rotating cutting mat, which they've never had before. Ooh. This thing is awesome. Let me tell you. Oh, is that what you're doing? Okay. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness. I've had several rotating cutting mats over the years and none of them have held up and I've not liked some of them like spin it and the top would come apart from the bottom and yeah I don't know I've never found what I liked I got this a few weeks ago and I've been trying it because I wanted to make sure it was good before I told you guys yeah I love it just saying if you're in the market <laughs> nice I'm right. never not in the market for a gadget yeah <laughs> We've had some new folks come in. So hi to all the new folks that I didn't see before. Hello, hello. Oh, Sarah Wynn is here. Hi, Sarah. She spells it the same as my Sarah. So she's in the cool kids club. <laughs> yeah. Storming in Tennessee and in, in Texas. Oh, wow. A lot of people getting rain. Yeah. All right. Yes, just got that in uh, 
Lori, came a few weeks ago. It was a few months late, delayed, like everything these days, but yeah, it was worth the wait. I'm a little bit of a Creative Grids fan. I feel like their products just are really, all really good. So after sewing all those together that we just did, I did one and showed you guys, you have to do five sets of those. After you cut them all apart, like Shannon said, the different ways she showed you with the block lock or the perfectly slotted trimmer, or even if you're just using a regular ruler, um, now's the fun part. We're uh, pressing them all open and trimming them away. <laughs> trimming them all, or yep. trimming first and then pressing them open. So this is the part that's gonna take some time. Yeah. Um, let's see, Sarah said the creative grids mat never comes apart when you're cutting so far, not it hasn't, but I've only, like I said, I've only had it for a few weeks. So it's just brand new to the market. I actually ordered it back in October at quilt market. Cause that's when they kind of showed it to all the shops. Yeah. And, uh, it was supposed funny. to be here originally in January. Then they moved it to March. And I got so excited when March came. They're like, oh, it's delayed till the beginning of May. And I was like, man. And then um, it came a little bit early in April. So I was like, yay. <laughs> Hi, Pamela. You get your fabric when you go to St. Augustine. It's very fun. Nice. Oh, yeah. You, you'll, you'll have a good amount of time to catch up because we don't pick the next two blocks for another couple of weeks. Couple of weeks, yeah. Plus Pamela is yeah. an amazing, so it, she'll be able to catch up, no problem. Nice. Hi, Kathy. Kathy Cantu, welcome. Hello, Kathy. Sarah said, love St. Augustine, have fun and stay safe. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, I just found another pile that I have to do. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right. So this like, is. Yeah, I think I just trimmed the last one. Nope. This is row two. I haven't um, ironed the center seam yet, but nice. this is row two. So I'll iron that out and I'll put it on to, to row one. I am a, I get uh, bored easily. So I still have sets of um, half square triangles to, to trim, but okay. I got bored with that. So I moved on to, you know, sewing some together and everything. Gotcha. Um, but I'll show you what the two rows look like together at least. Yeah. And then go back to the tedious part. <laughs> I'm also usually not a sew the seam open kind of gal. Um, but in between the blocks, mm -hmm. as I'm, you know, I'm sewing the separate blocks together, I, I have been sewing the seams open. Okay. There's just a lot going on. There's a lot going on in this block. So that probably makes good sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Pamela is going to celebrate her 32nd anniversary. Congratulations. Fun. That's awesome. My aunt and uncle that were just up for my sister's wedding reception, actually their wedding anniversary is the same day that my sister got married and they just celebrated their 31st. So congrats oh, wow. to the, the longevity ones. I like to see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Denise, thank you. Yeah, I love the... Love I'm trying the, to this, think how long it's been now since I met Keith. 
I'm not good with the maths on the dates. <laughs> what do you think? 20, this is 23, right? 23, 24, 26 years, wow. Wow. Uh, Karen, so all of them are gonna be 12 and a half that we write, that, that we, that Stephanie writes the pattern for. <laughs> um, they'll all be 12 and a half. However, um, if you want to size them up and down, um, they have that on the back of those cards that we're using. Um, let's say 12, what is it? 12, 14, 12, 10, eight, and six are the Well, sizes? if somebody wanted to do that and do like four sixes, right? Instead of in, in place of a 12, uh -huh. all you'd have to do is take the instructions that I give you and like literally cut all the pieces in half. Oh. So okay. like if it calls for a five inch piece, you'll need a two and a half inch piece, cut that kind of thing. Nice. Okay. Yeah. It only gets tricky if you want to change it like to a nine inch or a 15 inch or. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So certainly if somebody wanted to do that, they could. As long as you can do the math. <laughs> Which obviously I cannot. <laughs> Great. Oh, Nellie said she's got the cutting, the rotating mat and she loves it. Nice. Very cool. Oh, Marla said, I wonder if I can use binding clips to hook this box of tissues to the strings of my hoodie. Please somebody turn my allergies off. Oh man. I hear you, Marla. I'm doing pretty okay, but my husband has really bad spring allergies and he is like driving me crazy because he's a boy. Y'all know boys are gross. <laughs> and he's like sneezing, like it's all clear liquidy stuff, but he's like sneezing liquidy stuff all over our house. <laughs> so I wish somebody would attach a box of tissues to his face. <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely allergy season in Ohio. <laughs> That's a bummer. Yeah. Going to work with the pins. Ah, pins are evil. <laughs> <laughs> if it, more power to, like, I, I, bow to you if you can get through this with no pins it was driving me absolutely insane girl you're ahead of me i'm still like trimming ironing because <laughs> i cheated <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny in many a conference call today and i was like well i'm gonna get a head start <laughs> so some good boring ones today huh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've found out that I have a lot of coworkers, a lot of four coworkers that I know that I don't actually, um, we don't work in the same departments, but we work for um, the same department, I guess, uh -huh. within, um, or, or like not the same bosses. We're not all doing the same stuff, um, but the same kind of overall department. Um, two guys I used to work with probably 10 years ago. Oh, wow. Work, work there. Um, somebody that I had met who was a Frederick sewer found out yesterday that she works there. I was like, it is such a small world. Oh, wow. Kind of cool. Funny how things circle back, right? Yeah. And Ingrid, and um, also, so when I joke about the fact that on conference calls, I'm sewing um, both Ingrid and now this um, the other friend, um, now they know 
what I'm doing. <laughs> if they happen to end up on a call I'm ever on, they'll know what I'm up to. Right. Hi. Hello, Kitty. Oh, Hello. Kitty. Which one's that? Look. I... Okay. Oh, Glock. I had to have him look at me. His his coloring is very similar to one of his brothers. Um, gotcha. And I have to have him look at me in the face for me to know. Aw. He has more orange around his eyes than his brother. He's cool. He's a great tabby for the most part, but he's got he has a really orange belly and orange um mask. Kind of cool. Oh, that's looking. interesting. Yeah. So I don't I don't know what his dad looked like, but his mom's all gray and white, Tabby. Oh, okay. But the 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 children all have varying shades of orange to them, and the the one that's up here right now, he's very orange. Okay. Comparatively. So their dad must have been a an orange. Yeah. Tabby. Maybe yeah. an orange Tabby. I don't know. Oh, a glue pen. Oh, smart. Mm -hmm. Oh, where's my notebook? Dang it. I wrote people's names down so I wouldn't forget. Let me, let me, let me find it just the same. Oh, Priscilla, the rotating cutting mat was a uh, creative grit. It's their brand new one. It just came on the market. Darlene. Thanks, Darlene. Glue pen is very cool. I need to, I need to keep my, my cheat sheet out for people's names. Oh my goodness, last trim, last one to trim. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I just got these um pinpoint glue injectors. So uh -huh. now that you said that, Darlene, I'm gonna I'll try it, try it out on an, another block. But these like little uh I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. Like, yeah. I saw somebody using it on a short. I guess they're usually used, it says wood workshop glue injector. So um, so, but somebody was using it on their short for a quilt. And, uh, I tried a, a, one applicator that screwed right onto a, a glue um, bottle, but uh -huh. it was so thin that I, I was squeezing the, the glue bottle. I was sure that it was going to end up shooting out all the pouring glue all over the place. So this, this looked a lot easier. <laughs> Crystal said, ooh, live testing. <laughs> uh, ooh, yeah, oh, I don't have glue down here, though. That would be fun, though. See what kind of mess I could make. <laughs> what you do with Okay. That? Now to sew all these bad boys. Never fails. I, I stuck myself already. <laughs> oh no. That's why I hate pins. It's not because I don't think they are good. It's just I hate sticking myself. I hate sticking myself. Not enough, thankfully, not enough for any blood, but um Oh, that's good. Enough to let me know it's there. Yep. They're like paper cuts. They hurt like paper cuts. Yep. Thank you. 
Okay, I see why you took a break because it, it you could be to the point where you want to see some progress. <laughs> Acorn precision piece and glue. Mm. I don't think I actually have their glue. The seam aligned glue? Yeah. Yeah. All right. See how I did. Huh. All right. Needs it needs an iron. Needs a, to press the the seam, but that'll do. Hey. I'll take that. That is gorgeous. This you guys chose well. It's a gorgeous block. It is. Oh, cool, Ingrid, that would be awesome. Yeah, everything everything they do is good. I, I just, I don't know. I just never got the glue. <laughs> My dealer apparently uh, just never, never suggested it. <laughs> well, I had to get you hooked on the first thing first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll up the, up the ante if you like. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be so pretty. It's, your colors are gorgeous. Well chosen, folks. Good voting. Glock, uh, do you have to chew on everything? If you haven't started this block yet, I recommend chain piecing. Yes. A thousand times, yes. <laughs> and then it was time when it was time to put them you know together in the four patches i chain pieced that way too um yeah i chain piece it in that four patch way so i could just cut them apart in pairs and then put them together yeah i think that's gonna be the way it's done <laughs> I'm going to be perfectly honest with everybody. There's no way I'm going to have this bad boy finished by eight o'clock. <laughs> However, um, we will get as far as we get. We we'll get as far as we can, and you all should feel no pressure to to be done either. If you're not done, this is this is a a block to to take your time and. Don't lose patience with. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, he's got his tails. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Watching while you clean the turtle tank. Nice. Oh, you had hand okay. surgery recently. Oh. Well, speedy recovery. I hope you're not in too much pain or anything. Yeah, hopefully you can sew soon. Yeah. And we're going to stop at eight because we know a lot of you like to go watch. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely want you guys to be able to and go to the shop. Yeah.
I went a little uh, too crazy during their grunge sale a couple weeks ago. And Did you? <laughs> I am on a self-imposed diet. Oh, here you are. Yeah. Had a blast. Regret nothing, but definitely don't need to spend any more money. I love grunge. It's so pretty. I'm great. I'm happy to hear that Ingrid is a grunge convert. Yeah. People think it looks dirty and then they sew with it and now they're like, oh. <laughs> that's that's not at all what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. I like a lot of, I like a lot of basics. Oh, good luck. I'm more I do too. Oh, There's so many good ones out there now. Yeah. One of my favorites right now is Chroma from uh, Northcut. I just love that. Yeah, you, you your, your um, influence. I've got it up here somewhere. I think a um, half yard pack of it. Yeah. Ready to play with it and do something. <laughs> nice. A little. I did. I went nuts on that. <laughs> it was, it was, oh, that was a high dollar night. <laughs> did you get some good basics or a mix of colors or what'd you get um i got um oh, I don't know. Let's see if i turn it did that turn it enough i've got gray like the creams to the grays to the blacks nice into greens which of uh, course are my favorite perfect. i guess you can't really see all, all that well with the way my camera's yeah, angled. But um, yeah, super happy with the nice the selection. And then I also got Queen of Ween that night because um, I love a record fresh. Oh yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm not that, her fabrics are not really my thing, but I'll tell you that I met her at Colt Market. Yeah. She's, not what I expected. <laughs> really? Super. I mean, I didn't expect her to be mean or anything, but she was super nice lady. Very down to earth. She's just very different from what I expected after seeing all her fabrics, right? Yeah. And I now that I've met her, I'm like, oh, maybe I kind of do like her fabrics because some of the lines I've seen, I've kind of liked it more, but I'm like, is it because I met her and I really like her? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? So it's kind of funny how that works. I think that there is something to be said for that because once I started watching Tula Pink do her Tuesdays and I just, she's so sweet. I just love her Tuesday things. Yeah. Um, then I was like, oh, I, I like that line. And I like that line. And I didn't used to like, it was way too pink for me. <laughs> yeah. She likes, she likes the pinks. Um, but now I'm like, oh, I kind of like that. So and I there's think certain lines of hers that I like better than others. Yeah. And this, I know I'm going to get shot for this, but I didn't really love her Alice in Wonderland line. But like, I loved her handmade line, the one that had the sewing machines. Mm -hmm. And I love, I love the Everglow that's out now. So. Yep. Love Everglow. I did a pre-order for the, the Deja Vu one that she did with the. Yeah. Um, the the sister the witchy sisters I can't yeah remember what it's called now um that wasn't the originally was that the de la luna line or no was that, that was something else I can't remember I can't think of what it was called originally I ordered it I know what you mean though yeah um um I like a lot of the pieces in best friends I wouldn't I, I'm not trying to run out and buy the entirety of that line Mm -hmm. um but did like a number of the pieces in best friends yeah the turtles and the goldfish just cracked me up 
And Sarah wants me to get the rab the rabbits because she likes bunnies. Yeah, and we have a bunny, so we'll see. I'm still recovering from the, from the Everglow purchases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, Molly's got two tickets coming for a uh, $6,500 sewing machine raffle. Yes. Did you hear about that from Soya? Yeah? No. See, I really they, have They have my... like mystery bundles that they're, and I think they might be still selling them again tonight, but they were doing like up to a thousand tickets or something. Wow. And if you ordered the mystery bundle, you were going to get tickets in them and you got your choice of like whatever brands they carry, Janome, Juki, Brother, basically all the brands, and you can yeah. get a machine like up to $6,500. Wow. I was like, oh, yes, please. <laughs> That's groovy. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, somebody's going to be real happy. They said you could get in a Janome M7, and that's like my dream machine. And I was like, oh, yeah. I'll never get the ticket because I never win anything, but <laughs> <Me neither. laughs> I would love that machine. Uh, my, uh, my two um, generous quarter inch has got me by about a quarter inch away from 12 and a half. <clears throat> on the uh, sparkling star that's all right i'll make it work <laughs> oh sarah said that should be tonight too where you can get raffle tickets cool. oh cool and when you buy it the thing you get like i can't remember how many fat quarters it was but uh you can either pick like a three yard bundle and it's a price and then you get a raffle ticket and there are mystery fabrics nice. and then some so many like fat quarters for i want to say it was 10 for like 25 dollars. so it was actually a really good price cool. Tonight could be interesting to watch though, because they're going to be in their store in Alaska. That is cool. I did just get a text from them. Oh, did you? Yeah, that said that they made it. Cool. Not that I'm like, you know, super close to them. It's the, the broadcast text that they send out. <laughs> yeah. They weren't just letting me know. Hey, Shannon, we made it to Alaska. Just wanted to let you know. <laughs> yeah, I figured that's what you meant. So Judy <laughs> asked if we can show, if you can show one of the corners laid out before you sew it. I'm not to that point yet. I'm still like pressing stuff. So if you're close. Um, one of the corners, what, uh, what is that? Mm -hmm. what, which corner? Like, I would, yeah, maybe one of those quadrants, maybe. So, okay. Like one of the, one of these these pieces yeah that's together. what i'm thinking maybe she's saying judy okay. if that's right let us know all right <laughs> gail said i have a thing about mystery bundles i spend too much fabric on things that i actually pick <laughs> yeah Oh, oh, that green is so pretty. Oops. Yeah, Judy said yes, that's what she's looking for is like a quadrant how to put it together. Look.
oh, I forget about the, I'm always forget about the lag. <laughs> like I already have it hung up. I'm waiting for it to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the quadrant, okay, I will. Thanks, Karen. Thank you guys. Um, I will shake a tail feather and put these guys together. Delmarie, I do like the slotted trimmer. I will say, like I, I am, I am an easy mark for all of the notions for sure, <laughs> and I will, I will buy pretty much all the notions, um, and a lot of them are just sitting in drawers that I never pull out, but I do reach for the the slotted trimmers often because we do make so many half square triangles. Yeah. Um, and and I have the block locks too. I I just don't, I don't reach for them like I do the slotted trimmer. So for me, the slotted trimmer is definitely worth it. I have the slotted trimmer and I love it. I think it's worth it. I just forget to get it out all the time. <laughs> yeah. Landa said, it makes it hard Thanks, not Ingrid. to see you two sewing. We're going to sew, we're going to have cameras down next time. Yeah. This time was, we were working out the technology. So we'll do that for the future. But I'm at the point where, uh, Shannon's ahead of me. I'm at the point where I'm going to start putting these locks together. So if you've got, you're going to join two of the small uh, Hasker triangles and then one of the small Hasker triangles in a background. I've got those together. Now I need to join them here to make the little units and you're going to need 12 of these units so that's where i'm at well then you might you might get to that quadrant faster than me because i'm now i have to go back to trimming um half square oh, triangle okay. that okay. i had that i had uh gotten bored of and moved away from <laughs> yeah The eight triangles at a time leaves a bit of stitching that you have to cut off or pick apart before you press. Hmm. So Marie, do you, do you think so? I didn't have that. I didn't run into that. Neither did I. Okay, Glock, nobody wants to see you cleaning yourself on the table, you weirdo. Okay, I, re I re just realized I've been saying his name, his shortened name of, of Glock. He is not named after a handgun. He's named <laughs> after <laughs> he's named after a musical instrument, the Glockenspiel. Glockenspiel. Yeah. So all, all of the cats have uh, music names. Um, I usually call him Glockamole, actually. Um, <laughs> makes me laugh. And he answers to Glockamole now, so. That's funny. But yeah, I just realized. <laughs> so did you press these little squares, the seam on the back after you joined the top and the bottom open? So no, I didn't okay. in the individual squares. However, having just put that together, that top half, mm -hmm. I think I wish I had. Okay. So I'm just asking because um, they seem a little thick. So I was thinking about doing that. Yeah, I, I would. I would say, um, and I, I feel like I will probably make that choice now that I'm doing the second half, mm -hmm. um, coming back to the second half, I'll probably that, make that choice for these. 
Okay. Just a lot of fabric. So this is what I'm talking about. I've got these sewn together and then I pressed it open because it got really thick here, so. Yeah, yeah. I had not done that I, when I was sewing. So like when you have that four patch together and you sew it to the next four patch, mm -hmm. I was open, I sewed or ironed that seam open, but I okay. wish I had done it just the whole way through pretty In much. Little blocks, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which no harm, no foul. I can I can start doing that with the second half that I'm working on now and it'll all work. Oh no, your power's flickering. Oh no. That's not good timing, especially right before so yeah. <laughs> Sarah, were you the one that you were saying Tennessee? My my dad's side of the family is from Tennessee, outside of Nashville. Oh, cool. You could, Linda, you could spin the seam. Like that's, uh, oh my gosh, what's her name? Oh, the quilt, the quilt today or what? Eleanor Burns. There we go. It's like, I know <laughs> this is going to sound bad. Like, I know it's like an old lady name. It's like a grandma name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in North Carolina. Okay. Oh, my dad's family's from Tennessee. My dad's from Tennessee and he lives in North Carolina right now. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. The trimming of the half square triangles. <laughs> I will say doing doing the trimming while um, on conference calls made it seem a, a lot less painful. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> 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 one of my boys is upstairs he's like whoa <laughs> pretty sure that was Henry <laughs> <laughs> okay so I don't have all of them done but I did enough where I can show oh whoever was asking they're gonna go sliding though I'm gonna try to <laughs> stay put I need a mat <laughs> that you don't move so these are the four quadrants. So the blue should be touching your background square. And then this white is gonna touch this blue. So just like that. And you can start to see it forming a star leg here. So that's how those are gonna go together. Yeah. I love how it has the pinwheel. In the middle. Yeah. And actually, you're going to sew all four quadrants the same. So if you just follow that, and then when you sew them, when you put all four together, you're just turning each one, and then it forms that pinwheel in the middle. So, yeah. 
Yeah, you definitely don't have to do it in rows like I did. I, I just, I get antsy and <laughs> want to move on to the next thing. I, I like to see something happening. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. This is a lot of pressing. <laughs> Land is waiting on the fabric. Gotcha. Oh, Crystal. Yeah. You're welcome, Judy. I hope that helped. I know it's not great. I'm sorry. We'll have cameras down next time. We were just trying to get the tech to work just so we could come on. <laughs> <laughs> Next technical thing is ha, ha, like learning how to end the live without <laughs> the Zoom. With what? I'm sorry. Without ending the Zoom, which on Sunday I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know how to end the live and not end the Zoom. <laughs> yeah. You actually, your Zoom was still running on the on your live. I know. Like your, I had to stand down. up and close out your down the, camera yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can still see that it but it was like, fine oh, i'm really you'll get there you're brand new at it and yeah. i still deal with tech issues and i've been doing it a little bit longer so <laughs> when i wa went back to watch it you could see lauren and, and i'm uh you know i'm i'm talking to lauren saying oh um, I think you have to hit OK. And I was like, oh, gosh. Yeah. oh well. <laughs> That's all right. That's what makes you a real person. Yeah. <laughs> I was just proud I didn't cuss. <laughs> people forget that if you're, you know, the people, professionals like Jenny Doan and, and Fat Quarter Shop. And so, yeah, they're great. They have a whole camera crew. Yeah. They have people that they could be like, this isn't working. And that person's like, okay, I'm going to hit this button. Now it's fine. And we are doing all of that. Plus trying to talk and so, and keep up with the chat. So. Very you know, true. They're very lucky to have all that. So just give us at home a little bit of grace. <laughs> <laughs> I was very happy to have Lauren there yeah. judging and laughing at me as I was trying to figure it all out <laughs> as the old head that I am so funny. <laughs> 24 years old. Everything I do is funny. <laughs> wow. You look really good. Like you're 29 and your daughter's 24. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's was, magic that, yeah <laughs> that was, I was a, a very uh old for my young age of four <laughs> yeah. oh Tammy that's awesome Tammy's saying that um she sent legit kits a uh, message about uh an oops that she did oh, for okay. the legit bomb and they already <laughs> messaged her and it's in the mail tomorrow oh, okay very responsive that's a very exciting to hear that's good there was one color that was pretty close yeah you know yeah can't remember which color it was but i was like a little afraid myself so that's nice uh, to know that they do that yeah I, I saw some some folks they were posting in the in their facebook page about that too um, oh yeah yeah. Um, no, I can't remember. Was it cactus? I can't remember what color it was. I but it was maybe kiwi, but I'm I could be wrong. Oh, I don't. Or key, maybe key lime. I don't know. Could have been. Cactus. Oh, maybe maybe it was key lime. Maybe it was. Key yeah, lime. I think it was key lime. Now that yeah. But you said kiwi, and I was like, oh, they didn't have a color kiwi, but I want the color oh. kiwi. That's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> It was whatever this color is right here. I think it's key lime. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
because I was like, ooh, on the last cut, I didn't know if I was going to have enough for the one. Yeah, last key lime was the, the, it had the most color throughout. Yeah. This. Yep. But I also measured my piece and I think it might've been cut a little small because I think it was supposed to be a fat eighth and mine was only seven inches across instead of nine. Oh. So, but I made it work. It, it, it was fine. Okay. But I could see how somebody brand new to paper piecing, that would be difficult. Yeah. But if you, not to add yet another thing for you to think about, but if you do see that, um, and I think I'm, I might start doing it because, you know, when, when I'm doing these on Sundays, um, doing it with so many people that are brand new to it, um, I think I'll start measuring it to make sure. Yeah. Um, that's very, thank you for letting me know that. And if you, you know, think something looks a little off, if you, you know, would give me the heads up, that would be awesome. Yeah, sure. I can definitely do that. Oh, thank you. I figured mine was just cut a little short. And like I said, I keep her piece quite a bit. So, you know, it's okay for me, but I can see where yeah. other people would be like, whoa. Oh, a shock. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, the purple wall is here. She said, hello, Shannon. Great interview yeah. with Steven. Thank you so much. That was a lot of fun. It was, that was a, a lot of fun and so humbling. <laughs> so weird to think yeah. that I was interviewed. I know it's a strange, <laughs> it's a strange thing, but <laughs> you deserve it though. Oh, Tammy, did you try piecing it together? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad and proud to hear that they were, they were quick to get back to you. Yeah, that's good. Very nice. I'm like, so trying to hurry and finish the top half of this block. Cause I know we're almost done. But again, this is this is going to be the block that with the most pieces to it, um, yep. and and the most. I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna think I'm trying to think of all the blocks that we have cards for. I think this is probably going to be the most the smallest pieces too, like the smallest little. Yeah. Half square triangles. Yep, I think so. I, I think because. You did the take a look at them. Uh, you're getting the fabric locally because an international order the downloaded pattern in minimum fabric is quarter meter. Oh yeah. Is a quarter meter. Oh, that's good then, Ron, because the one we got a fat eighth and it was it was tight. It was hard to get the, the fabric out of it. The international shipping charges, man, crazy. crazy. Yep, that's why I don't ship my boxes and stuff. I checked into it because there's a gal who watches me from Australia who asked if I could check into it. And my one, the one project box, $65 to oh ship my, it. Oh my Lord. I'm like, that's insane. Of course, big companies can get negotiated rates, but even so, it's still expensive. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, to get a negotiated rate, you've got to be like shipping. Yeah, you got to be huge. Like, so yeah, and Missouri Star and stuff, but. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll at least have a half of my block done so I can show you guys. Got to sew this last seam. Mm -hmm. I really like this. It's just, um, not hard it's just kind of like tedious you got to stay on top of it yeah it's not even even with these being two inch squares it's not um well I guess I am pinning it so I guess it is kind of fiddly but I was expecting it to be a lot more persnickety I guess <laughs> but I think definitely the way you wrote it to be half square triangles after feeling the pain that you felt 
on that one pattern, I think that definitely helped us. Yeah. Oh, yay. I'm doing Seems another month. Bang on. I'm happy about that. Oh, French General. Remember how much Steven paid for Jenny's box? Yeah, it's crazy. He paid way more than I did, but I'm excited that he got it again this year because we're going to open it again together. Oh, fun. That was so much fun last year. <laughs> of course, you know, he's hilarious. So <laughs> he really is. So it was just a blast to open that box with him. Uh, for anybody who hasn't, he's got a, uh, well, tomorrow's Wednesday. So Stephen and Stephanie have a open show every Wednesday morning yes. starting at nine. And then yep. he also this Saturday has an open so Ooh, that's something I can also kind of toot my own horn, horn about. Um, before you maybe head to Stephen's so uh, open so that starts at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be on Sean, the guy who sews oh, channel that's right. yeah. Saturday morning for Brecky. I'm so excited. <laughs> nice. That'll be fun. Yeah. Sean's such a great guy. He's so much, he's so nice. It's um not like it's not like an official like interview interview where he's gonna have a list of questions or anything. It's more of a uh casual, you know, brecky sew together, yeah. um hang out get to know each other kind of deal. Yeah. Okay, so here's the top half of my block. That's probably about all I'm gonna get to before we're gonna go here because it's almost eight o'clock, but yep. this is without pinning. So you can do it without pinning if you're like me and totally hate pins. <laughs> <laughs> but I did use my magic juice and that does help. Um, and I pressed those, so I pressed those, um, the individual little unit squares open. And so it all went together really nicely. It's so pretty. It, and it, it might be, um, I, I might find with this this half that I'm doing where mm -hmm. I'm gonna press those open too, I, I might find that it's, it's easier. It, it All of that bulk was moving so much under my needle. Yeah. I think you're right. I think the bulk is probably what affected it because I didn't really have too much problem with this. But yeah. like I said, I pressed a lot of, here, I'll show you guys. I pressed a lot of the seams open. So, and yeah. when I put these two quadrants together, I also pressed this seam open because it was really bulky there. Because you've got like all these seams coming into it. Yeah. So, yeah. I really like the way it turned out though. Yeah, it's so pretty. So there's the top half. I'll finish, I'll finish the bottom Wait. half while I'm watching. So yeah, and then <laughs> <laughs> it went be fast. Done. Somebody said that maybe something was wrong. Something is wrong on the bottom super step. Well, do you think possibly? Okay, wait. No, because it looks like mine it's too. probably because they see these two blues right here. Yeah, which it's not wrong because it's got a. It'll look right when it goes with the other quadrants. It's part of the pinwheel. It's part of the portion yeah. that you don't yep. see yet. Yeah, exactly. So that's why it might look a little funky monkey right now, but <laughs> yeah, it'll look right when it's turned. Because actually, if you see Shannon's there behind her head, mine looks exactly the same. So that's how I knew I did it right. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or Shannon and I are both wrong. <laughs> right. Could, that could totally be it. And, you yeah. know, it, it's it's a new block. <laughs> yeah. Redesign. Hi, Helen. It does look have weird the, on its own. Yeah, have block looks weird on its own. Yeah, it does. It'll it'll look more normal. I'll show you guys finish next time. Shannon and I probably start the live with showing our finished stuff and then showing your all of your blocks and then showing you the next month's blocks. So <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, it is 801. I know that you guys want to get to so yeah, or just yeah, I just got a couple of people saying bye. I'm going to spend money. <laughs> yeah, see ya. <laughs> so thank you everybody very yes. much for being here. This is so exciting. I'm so looking forward to spending the months coming up with you and voting on these blocks and everything. Yeah, um next month is on Stephanie's channel. Um, so and we'll keep you posted uh, from you know, odds are mine. 
evens or stephanie's so we'll, we'll keep you posted just remember the weirdo it's the eve odd months no i'm just kidding <laughs> she knows i love her she's not a weirdo she's a sweetheart so <laughs> all right okay so the, then the question is can i stop a live yep you should be able to go to your youtube and say end stream <laughs> hmm. hmm or you can go to the zoom and there should be something on the bottom that says stop streaming like you'll have to click the little dots i think all right see. we're learning i'm teaching her <laughs> Have a good night, ladies. Thank you for coming. Thanks, everybody. See you next time, Shelly. Thank you. Thank you, Delmarie.